in this video let's talk about firebase uh, firebase is like a real time before starting to talk about databases uh, so far we have seen uh, only how to manipulate data within your application how to make external http requests and receive data how to uh, you know bring in uh, fancy ui widgets ui components inside your application right but uh, uh, so far we haven't seen how to store or retrieve data somewhere how to store uh, data from your application into a database and uh, efficient ways to retrieve the same stored data from that particular database now uh, what we'll do is moving forward we'll start to look into firebase firebase is a no sql database introduced by google originally it wasn't by google uh, but google purchased it and now it has become a property of google i guess uh yeah so it's an excellent uh, way to store and retrieve data it's like a cloud cloud based database cloud based real time database and they recently introduced like recently in the sense uh, by 2017 they introduced uh, firestore firestore the difference between firebase and firestore i would say firebase is like a no sql database okay a full a fully fledged real time database whereas firestore is like is like a more organized way of storing your uh documents in collections and then using you know uh, you can perform simple queries like var queries on your uh, stored uh, i mean on your collections to retrieve those documents in an efficient way that's it that's the primary difference that i noticed other than that it's the same storing documents in the collection scenario however you want uh, so yeah but it's a uh, if you are i mean uh, i would say uh, if you're new to firestore i would say it's really easy and uh, simple to store and retrieve data in uh, using that guys so uh, in our, in this video we'll start with the basics first let's see how to uh, mix i mean not mix how to integrate uh, our application with firebase okay how to configure our flutter application uh, to use firebase uh, this is a scaffolded application right Let's get into Firebase, create a free account and then uh, go to console.firebase.google.com Click on add project. As you can see, I have already created a few projects, but uh, that those might not be there for you. So choose your country from here and then uh, type your project name. For instance, I am just doing Flutter Fire. Okay. And uh, accept the conditions click on create project and wait for the project to get created cool right the project is now ready click on continue and you will see a screen like this now uh, you can uh, I, I mean i'll show you how to add firebase to your android application since i'm using a ubuntu machine and that's what i'm doing to get this android package name uh, get into android app source Android manifest.xml and here it's the it's given package right copy this simply copy this and uh, paste it here okay and simply click on register app now there is a file uh, provided to you right download google services.json download that click on it it will download it automatically once that is downloaded, copy that Google services.json file and paste it inside your uh, apps Android directory as I have done here. Wait, I'll show you. See, uh, inside the Android directory, I have pasted the Google services.json file, right? Okay, that is done. Now get into build.gradle, not this build.gradle, get into this build.gradle. Inside the Android directory itself, there is a build.gradle file, right? Get into that. And then uh, under dependencies, simply add class path com dot google dot com. So, sorry, not google dot com. Google dot gms and give a colon google uh, services three point two point two. Okay, uh, this is done. The next thing you need to do is get into app build.gradle and move to the end of this so that we can uh, tell our project to use this particular plugin and uh, type out this line apply uh, plugin uh, com dot google google dot gms dot google dot services okay save both these files 
close them and get into pubspec pubspec.yaml is the place where uh, you, it, it is the file that contains all the uh, metadata of your application now under dependencies here as well simply add cloud underscore firestore this is nothing but uh, uh, this plugin this cloud firestore plugin i am trying to install this that's it okay once you save this it if you have uh, it will automatically run flutter packages get to uh, uh, get this particular uh, plugin yeah it's done that's it guys now uh, we have configured our application to use cloud firestore in our next uh, video we'll see how to create a simple collection in firestore how to create a simple document inside that collection and how to access that document from your uh, flutter application uh, yeah thanks guys